could hardly get through the day. That's where I knew something had to change. The team at the Borges Heart Institute found a heart arrhythmia. After they treated me, I had so much more energy. That's where I started finding time for me again. Watch more Borges patient stories at thatswhere.com. When breaking news hits, turn to Fox 17 News. The massive snowfall and frigid temperatures are keeping a lot of people indoors today. Emergency crews are asking people in several counties to avoid the roads if you can, but that doesn't mean you can't enjoy some winter activities. Fox 17's Jessica McMaster found that out firsthand today. She spent the day with a snowmobile club in Van Buren County that volunteers their time clearing the trail for riders. She joins us live again from South Haven. So Jess, we know it's a little hard to talk when it's this cold, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're standing in downtown South Haven, Christian, and I got to tell you, it is a little bit eerie out here. I want you just to take a look behind me. You can see a lot of snow, a lot of buildings, but not a lot of life. People have been walking by on occasion, but that is a rare sighting, and it is because it is just so frigid out here. I know we've been reporting this all evening long, but really, guys, when that wind and snow picks it up, picks up, it actually makes it a little bit difficult to breathe, but as you mentioned, that is not not stopping people from enjoying those winter activities. Snowmobilers have been gearing up and hitting the trails, and we know that plow trucks need to clear the road for cars, and we're learning that the same is true for those trails, and it turns out there's a group right in town taking care of that. Drift Keepers, a volunteer-based club, clears more than 50 miles of snowmobile trails across southwest Michigan, and without them, snowmobilers might not get too far. They'd probably be stuck. <laughs> it's very deep. I mean, I'm going down with this. Snowmobiles would be buried everywhere, stuck. But with one of the worst winter storms in over a decade, trail coordinator Chris Yetsky says even his heavy-duty plow is having a hard time barreling through all that fresh powder. Uh, usually it's not that bad. Today's very interesting day because of all the snow. I'm all over the place trying to figure out where I'm going. He even took us along for a ride to show us just how bad the visibility is out there. Unable to see, Yetsky makes his way around by the markers placed on the trails by the club. And all the snow and the frigid cold temperatures is enough to keep most riders home. The trails untouched. But there were two people brave enough to take advantage of all this storm has to offer. Yeah, I just got home from Florida yesterday and I'm like, I'm going out. I don't care how cold it is. I've been looking forward to it. I've been waiting to ride my snowmobile. Past few years, we haven't gotten any snow. Craig Malauer is a 15 year member with the club who tells us this winter is keeping them busy. We wait for things like this and in, in southwest Michigan we haven't had any good snow like this in, in a long time. The last two years in a row I don't think we've groomed maybe two or three days. We've already been grooming for four or five days straight um, and we'll we'll do it as much as we can as long as there's snow we'll keep doing it. And it's a job Yetsky doesn't mind doing. I love it. I, I'm happy right now. <laughs> I want more of this. Now that snowmobile group you heard from there, they are all volunteers and they work off of grants. That money comes in from snowmobile registrations and the uh, trail permits. And they tell us that they're always looking for volunteers to help clear those trails. We're going to have all that information on our website. If you want to see that, you just head over to fox17online.com. For now, reporting live from South Haven, Jessica McMaster, Fox 17 News. Yeah, Jess, when you pick the snowmobile, you want the one with the heated grips and the heated foot warmers, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. It is cold out there, but those guys that we saw earlier today, they were geared up from head to toe, and she said, really, that wasn't the, her biggest problem. It was the visibility, so they've got it taken care of for sure when it comes to the gear. Right. You know, a lot of people have trouble talking in this cold weather. Obviously, Jessica's not one of them. That girl, that girl can talk through anything. There yeah. is no question about that. Great job, Jess. Thanks for your <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Thanks. But, you know, we we're talking about the dangers out on the roads, but these days everybody's got a cell phone so they get the GPS yeah. and mm -hmm. the communication so mm -hmm. as long as your battery doesn't run out I mean back in the 70s and 80s you were out there on your different. own well you know that's interesting you brought that out in Marshall in the late 70s we had a huge blizzard much of the country did in fact and at that point you're right there wasn't any way to communicate with people we actually had truckers stay at our house as a lot of people did here in Michigan wow. because they were stuck that was the place that was absolutely all you could do and we missed school for 
Oh, yeah. What two was that? The, the blizzard of 78? Blizzard of 78, yeah. yeah. We're up to two days on school closings here, and I think we'll probably end up with three for really? yeah. some of them before uh, wow. everybody goes Can back. Our Janice happy. was just a sparkle in someone's eye back then. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't chime in because I'm like 78. Wasn't 78. Born yet. <laughs> 1978 is what we're yeah. talking about okay. here. All right, let's talk about snowfall accumulation. We've been handling the cold pretty well, but as you can see here, we've also got some snow to talk about on Future Track HD. Uh, this gets us to tomorrow morning, and we're going to continue to see some lake effect snow. Not a lot. You can see on the order of one to three inches between I 96 and I 94. Uh, a lot of wind, though, is blowing the snow, and as we've been uh, talking about, we're having some visibility issues issues on some of the roads out there as we continue into tomorrow, tomorrow night and Wednesday. Again, we're not talking about huge snowfall amounts, but as you can see these areas in blue right here, uh, that's an indication of uh, upwards of six inches. So you can see across parts of Ottawa into uh, Allegan County, another six inches or so, uh, certainly not out of the question before this Arctic air moves out and we start to see temperatures warm up right now, though, we continue to see some lake effects snow and it's actually starting to pick up again in intensity on live Fox 17 radar M6 is messy at this point. I-196 from roughly downtown Grand Rapids all the way to Holland and Point South. We're seeing some heavy snow that's represented by these darker uh, shades of blue into Allegan County too. It looks like much of Allegan County, especially west of US 131, is seeing some heavy snow, including uh, Hopkins, also Burnips and uh, Fenville. You're seeing some of that heavier snow as well. All of us seeing cold temperatures, but away from Lake Michigan is actually a lot colder. We're at 10 below on the thermometer in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. It's 15 below in cold water. Minus one is our temperature in Grand Rapids. Zero is the warm spot in Muskegon. Wind chills brutally cold. We're down to a 40 degree below uh, zero wind chill in cold water. 18 below is what it feels like in Grand Rapids and almost 25 below in South Haven is the current wind chill. Other than that, though, not much happening across the Midwest. There's a lot of cold air, but not a lot of precipitation other than uh, downwind of the lakes. A lot of sunshine off to our west with very, very cold temperatures. Fox 17 Future Track HD. Uh, let's focus on the snowfall. We have already established it's going to be cold for the next couple of days. And you can see that lake effect continuing overnight tonight. First thing tomorrow morning. Some areas getting some heavy snow along and west of US 131. As we progress through the day tomorrow, we do start to th uh, see things wind down a little bit, especially tomorrow night and on Wednesday. A little bit of light snow here and there, but we're uh, finally going to see all this uh, brutally cold air and the heavy snow come to an end. And by Wednesday, we could even see a few peaks of sunshine around West Michigan. Now, your forecast for the rest of tonight, we'll see those snow showers, another one to three inches. Temperatures right around eight below for the overnight low, but a lot colder along and south of I-94. Wind chills between 20 and 30 degrees below zero. Your seven day forecast now showing a high of eight above tomorrow, but we're back into the double digits on Wednesday up to 15 and above freezing for Friday, Saturday and Sunday with a chance of a wintry mix coming up over the upcoming weekend. We are just getting started here on Fox 17 News at 6. We'll have another weather update coming up in just minutes. Janice. All right, Rick, thanks. Even with weather like this, when it comes to the drivers behind the wheel of semi trucks, they don't always get a break. Yeah, today Fox 17's Tim Swore caught up with some of those drivers to show us the dangers they face out there on the highways. He filed this report from just outside of Battle Creek. Here in Battle Creek, the big challenge on the road wasn't falling snow, but blowing snow. Sometimes at gusts well into 30 miles an hour, driving wind chills into double digits and making it a really big challenge for those who have to drive semi trucks. It makes its way, yeah. So you got to do extra caution for that, so. And swaying on ice is no fun, I assume. No, it's not. James Hamden is from Florida of all places, and he was trying to drive his truck from Zealand to Boston. What are the challenges of driving in conditions like this? Well, the, the challenge is, is, is uh, making sure, you know, everybody's looking out for each other, but you got to look out for each other and everything else. Yeah. And driving something like this, you got to be extra careful because you got extra weight. You got 80,000 pounds right here. As for those of us who get in the way of the guys who are just trying to do their job, it has to be frustrating. It does get frustrating, but you still got to look out for him because you know it's going to happen. And then there's this guy. We found him wearing shorts. 
Yeah. You got shorts on. Absolutely, yeah. And that's because? I've just been wearing my shorts all year round. All, all my whole life. Okay. My whole life. Tell me about driving with the challenges of weather like this. Oh, it stinks. Does it? Yeah, it throws everything off. Appointment times, places being closed. It's, uh, uh, yeah. People that don't know how to drive in it uh, just causes big problems. In the end, the guys driving the big rigs just want to get where they got to go and be safe. In Battle Creek, Tim Swore, Fox 17 News. While many people are nice and warm in their homes tonight, there are people across West Michigan working hard. Coming up next, we're going to talk live to a local captain about the issues authorities face to make sure that everybody stays safe out there. Here's what we're working on for Fox 17 News at 6.30. Plus, we touched on what you need to know to protect your loved ones, but what about your pets? Our Jennifer Dowling will show us the dangers of this brutal cold. Usually it's uh, like a day like today is snow plows, batteries, alternators, wipers, which we install wipers for people. Shut down along one of West Michigan's busiest roads, Westage Avenue and Portage. How the Arctic blast is impacting local businesses. This January, from the network that brought you house. Your Honor, may I object? You may not. What words best describe Fox's brilliant new lawyer, Keegan Dean? Complete narcissist. Stupid idiot. Crazy person. Heartless. Sexy. Disgusting. Monster. Skinny white.